We're being sold the dream of a perfect AI assistant, but what we're actually building is the perfect tool for our own manipulation. The promise is seductive. An AI assistant that knows everything about you, your projects, your history, your every need. But the convenience of being perfectly understood comes with a terrifying price. Is this hyper-personalized future a dream come true or a nightmare we're all just sleepwalking into? So in this video, we're going to move past the hype, break down the massive risks, and give you actionable strategies to keep yourself in the driver's seat. Before we get into the risks, let's first cover how these AIs use your data and how you can customize those settings. Here's the deal. For ChatGPT, go into your settings and find personalization. This is where you can save key details so you don't have to repeat them in every prompt, like who you are, what you do, and how you want it to respond. For example, I've instructed it to always include out-of-the-box ideas and then rank them for any ideas prompt. It's a huge time saver. Similarly for Gemini, just go to saved info where you can plug in key details about yourself and your preferences. But that's not all. You've probably noticed that these models also learn from your chats to automatically remember things about you. In ChatGPT, for instance, if you go to settings and then memory, you'll see that it pulls information from two main sources. It draws from your recent conversations and it also keeps a running summary of key facts it has learned about you your goals, background, and interests, all based on your entire chat history. So we know AI models keep a little cheat sheet about you, but why stop there? Why don't they use your entire history to give you the perfect answer every single time? You know, if we dream into the distant future, we'll have like, like way distant future, mm -hmm. we'll have like context length of several billion, you will feed in all of your information, all of your history over time, and it'll just get to know you better and better, and that'll be great. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman once described a future where an AI could use billions of your personal data tokens. Think about it. A personal assistant that's read your every email, knows every quirk, and remembers every single conversation. You'd never have to repeat yourself. It would just get you. Sounds amazing, right? So why don't we have this yet? In one word, cost. Imagine you have a library of a thousand books. Storing them is easy. But if I ask you a question and you have to reread and cross-reference every single page of those thousand books before you can answer, you're going to be incredibly slow. This reference cost is the main reason AI models currently have a limited context window. But I'm convinced this is where we are heading for two main reasons. First, a massive memory won't be just a luxury, it'll be a necessity. For a business, an AI agent needs to know every single document and data point to do its job. And for a personal user, a truly useful assistant needs to know it all. Your schedule, your finances, your contacts, and your past conversations. Second, hardware and algorithms just keep getting better, faster, and cheaper. The AI models we have today seem like science fiction just a decade ago. In a few short years, an AI referencing your entire life story in a split second could very well be the new normal. Okay, so this vision of an all-knowing AI assistant, it's a good thing, right? Well, before you get too comfortable, we need to talk about the inherent risks. First, the AI giants will never willingly let go of your data. It's a treasure trove. Data is the new gold. We've already seen how companies like Meta and Google made fortunes by selling personalized ads based on our clicks and likes. Just imagine how much more powerful and frankly terrifying the next generation of ads and offers and content recommendation will be crafted from the raw emotions, secret fears, and urgent needs we feed directly into the machine. Second, with AI, your personal data isn't just getting bigger, it's infinitely more sensitive. We're talking about a literal transcript of your needs, wants, deepest fears, and vulnerabilities. In the past, losing your passwords or credit card number was bad enough, but in this new era, the potential fallout from a data breach where a hacker gets access to the most sensitive parts of your psyche is catastrophic on a whole new level. And let's be honest, no matter what these companies claim about protecting your privacy, your personal information is never truly safe. AI companies may claim to have anonymized your data, but if a hacker gets your entire AI chat history, including where you live, what you do, your age, and your favorite restaurants, do you really think it's that hard to figure out who you are to believe you're anonymous just because your name isn't on the file, that's dangerously naive. 
So let's get practical. Here are a few things you can do right now to take back some control. First, use private modes. In ChatGPT, this is called temporary chat, where conversations are neither saved nor used for model training. In Gemini, go to your activity settings and just turn it off temporarily. Second, you can manually delete your history. In Gemini, this is in your activity settings, where you can delete specific conversations or wipe your data by date range. But let's face it, both of these options are manual. You have to remember to switch modes or hunt down conversations to delete, which is a hassle. So here's a slightly better set it and forget it option. In Gemini, you can set your history to automatically delete after 3, 18, or 36 months. This is useful for privacy, but there's a trade-off. Your AI won't remember older projects and will have a less personalized understanding of you. But none of these is an ideal solution. The root problem is where your AI chat data is stored, which is on a centralized cloud, along with your photos, emails, and other data. And that central cloud is a universal point of failure and a massive target for attacks. The truly radical solution, then, is to flip the model on its head, processing your data locally, right on your own device. This way, your most sensitive information stays with you instead of being sent to the cloud. Now, this requires a new architecture and powerful local hardware, but it's totally feasible. The real question is whether AI companies will be incentivized enough to provide such solutions. Remember, the big AI companies are always incentivized to keep more of your data, not less. So ultimately, my friends, it falls on you to protect your own privacy and interests. So the bottom line is this. Convenience is seductive, but control over your own data is crucial. As these AI tools get woven deeper into our lives, the choice of how much of your inner world you hand over is yours and yours alone. I hope this helps you make that choice with your eyes wide open. If this lit a spark for you, hit that like button. And for more tips on thriving in the AI age, subscribe and check out my other video right over here. Thanks for hanging out. Stay sharp out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.